Welcome to Real Estate Success Partner. We're your hosts, Devin Dubuque. David Wynn. And we're here to talk about how to have great success in any market. Today, guys, we've got returning guest, Christina Wagner from down in Ocala, Florida. And Christina, you've got somebody amazing, as always. Uh, who did you bring with you today? Janiel Morris from Boss Heart Realty out of Gainesville, Florida. Super excited to have you here, Janiel. Thanks for coming on board. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here. This is going to be fun. I'm super excited. We got a chance to talk to Janelle in the green room a little bit, and she has the best demeanor. She's a super fun person. So uh, welcome, Janelle, to our podcast. So glad to have you here. Uh, now, we know who you are, uh, but some of our audience may not know who you are. Uh, so where are you from originally? Are you from uh, Gainesville, Florida? I am from Miami, Florida, and I came here to Gainesville when I went to college and fell in love with the place. It's such a wonderful place with lots of wonderful people. And of course, go Gators. <laughs> Gator Nation. <laughs> See, I have my cup. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at you go. I love it. You know, we hear that often, too. It seems to be a, there's something in the water in Gainesville. Uh, beautiful community you go beautiful to people and you never come back you stay there that's it right? it's a great place it's a really great place i love it so much people are so nice the weather is wonderful you actually get a season change and you can walk and enjoy the spaces and places and all the local businesses are great that's it we're on our way yeah, I mean, we're shooting this, was it, January the 12th, yeah. and the country mm -hmm. uh, is about to be hit by the, uh, the, the freeze. ice age. Yeah, it's uh, going to get cold. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> well, I'll be in Tampa next week, so I may pop up there. Oh, you come on, world. come on. We got some diners, drives, and dives for you to see. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, you can probably tell I like to eat. So at the end of the day, <laughs> I will take you up on that. <laughs> so you went to school uh, uh in, in Gainesville, and uh, you uh, you went to school for real estate, right? That's that's what you did. No, I actually have an engineering degree. <laughs> <laughs> so got the engineering degree, walking through the halls, and I have, as you can see, a little bit of a personality, and so that was just not. It was so boring. I yeah. could do it, but it was just so boring. And somehow, through engineering to teaching children, all the way to real estate, it just just a crazy wave of things that happened. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, the people part was just something that, you know, I just love people. I love people. I love to talk to people. You don't talk very much in the engineering world. You know, everybody <laughs> has their head buried down in a book or in a cubicle. And, yeah. you know, it's just not the same. So, but I meet a lot of great people well, hang on. How in my industry a, how now. How long were you a teacher? 10 years. Oh, boy. That's not a short I taught time. high school yeah. math for 10 years, and wow. I love mathematics. It's such a great subject. It's the only thing that's an exact science I tell the children. And they were like, how could you possibly love this stuff? I was like, it's <laughs> fabulous. Yes, engineer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that makes so much sense because, you know. <laughs> Math teacher to realtor, that actually makes sense, right? At the end yeah, of the day, yeah. you're dealing with numbers uh, with every transaction that you work with, uh, right. and you're able to represent your clients with confidence. I, I absolutely love that. Uh, but, you know, it goes back to the personality like I opened with. You know, you've got such a great personality. You love to communicate, um, you know, and I think you're in the perfect field. I think you came where you were supposed Thank to be. Thank you. The whole time. And she's smart, Devin. She's yeah. smart. She's <laughs> okay. yeah, definitely smarter than us. Way smarter than us. We're qualified to be oh on this. Yeah. Goodness, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, we're glad that you made it over to this space. And how long have you been in real estate? 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. Ten I love years. it. I love mm -hmm. it. So, so uh, uh, you actually got in the industry then in, in uh, maybe one of the more tricky times. No, I think it was right yes. past the It end. was at the end right of end. it. <laughs> right, right, right at the end where there's a small uptick and everybody was like, you know, you're getting in at a really good time. Yeah. You're coming back. <laughs> it was a struggle these last four years. 
<laughs> yeah, it was tough. I know. You know, I've yeah. been in for a couple of decades. You know, I got in back in 2002, and mm -hmm. I, I, I remember 2009 to, through 2013. You know, 13 is where things started to be a little brighter, uh, but there was mm -hmm. days in there, you know, where it was difficult. And you know what? Here we are. We're full circle, right? You know, we're right back. Right, to the right. Where things are a little bit more tough. Uh, but right. now, Neil, you know, you're still having great success out there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's why we want to bring you on the show, because one of the things that we love to do is feature to, you know, both our guests, which are our borrowers, right? But also mm -hmm. other agents who may be looking for answers on how to have success. We like to take t top tier agents from around the country and bring them on and show people, hey, you can turn any market into a good market. It's all about the activity and the things that you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's always a shift that needs to happen. That's right. So maybe it went from at, at that time when I came in, it was a lot of a lot of foreclosures were there yeah. available to buy. Right now, there's barely any. Yeah. And so you barely see a foreclosure. You barely see a short sale. But it seems like they're coming back around now that, you know, this they're ending this uh, forbearance situation. Right. It's coming to a close, so we may see an influx of foreclosures once again. Yeah, it's, it's an ever-changing market. You never know what mm -hmm. the wave you're going to ride is going to be, and that's why you've got to be able to pivot and change, just like you said. Right. Yeah. So, so did you do anything different in 2023 than you did the previous years? You know, in 2023 was... An interesting year because a lot of my customers who I've garnered over the years were like, hey, my house is worth what now? So now <laughs> there was a shift, right? That's right. From more buyers to sellers. So mm -hmm. I had a lot of my customers who were like, hey, well, listen, I have the equity in my house. Let's go ahead and sell it. And I was like, yeah, we can go ahead and buy down the interest rate if necessary, do a 2 1, and then you That's have right. that option to go ahead and refinance in two years for free. Why not take advantage of that opportunity? 100%. And so. They've been able to do that in 2023. That's kind of what my focus was, just letting people take advantage of that equity. Yeah. Well, I love your innovation there because, you know, you've got a lot of people that say, hey, this isn't the best time to purchase a house. Um, but uh, you're utilizing the financing incentives that are available to you, like the 2-1 buy down, along with the fact that it, you said it and you're 100 percent right. A lot of people have newfound equity and they forgot about that. Right. You know, they get mm -hmm. in the house and all of a sudden they see those homes go up in, in some cases, 20, 30 percent. Right. Um, right. At the end of the day, they didn't have that equity when they jumped into it. Now, all of a sudden it's there. And you can put that equity to work for you. You can utilize it to buy down the rate, as you suggested, but you can also utilize mm -hmm. it to pay off high interest credit card debts. And in the world that we live in today, the average interest rate on a credit card is 20 to 30 percent. You know, so right. a lot of people aren't looking at their mortgage as a vessel to fix that. Uh, but when you're aligned with the right partners that can help educate you and show you how you can put that money to work, um, you know, that's how you create great success in this market. And you found a niche and you ran with it. Hey guys, it's Devin and David. We're your real estate success partners. Hey, if you're enjoying these podcasts and want us to keep bringing back this content, uh, we truly appreciate you following us. Uh, but if you could go below and subscribe or make some comments, we'd truly appreciate it. And we'll keep bringing back great content in 2024. Yep. Yep. They enjoyed it. Lots of people were walking away with 60, 70, 80, a hundred thousand dollars and like, Hey, well, let's go ahead and use part of it for a new house. Well, I'm thinking about doing investment property. So what do you think about that, Janelle? So we're actually moving in that direction where we have some folks who got bigger homes and now we have some other folks who are considering doing investment property. So it's really cool. I love that. I love that. Well, that's just that mission to help people build generational wealth, right? Some people get Absolutely. in and they never look at the the opportunity. They just want to own a home. And when they're paired up with that right partner, uh, like you, Janiel, uh, you're educating them. Hey, we can turn this into a way for you to actually generate some wealth. But let's talk about how we're going to put that wealth to work for you. Right. Right. And, and now right. we're talking about that second home purchase where we're taking the equity out. We're purchasing a new home, but now we're reinvesting the equity that we made on the first purchase into mm -hmm. other homes so we can gain future wealth. I love it. I absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, Let's talk a little bit. So 10 years ago in, um, you, what firm right. did you represent back then? Are you with the same firm today? 
I'm with the same firm. I've wow. been with Boss Heart Realty the entire time. That's awesome. And uh, yeah. let's talk a little bit about training. Uh, a lot of times when people first get into the industry, um, it is really important to align yourself with the right agency uh, because if you don't, little do people know, there's not a ton of training on how to actually do the sales part uh, in real estate. We all get educated on the legal side of it, uh, but we don't always get educated on how to go out and create the business opportunities, right? Right. Um, right. Did you have some good education with your uh, with your your agency when you first started in? Oh man, we have the great a great great education situation from the time that we start the training to we shadow each other to the the top producers at the time. Well, when I was young, you can call them and say, "Hey, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's going on yeah. here," and it's a very family oriented company it's a family base it's a small brokerage in Gainesville boutique brokerage I, I think it's like 75 like it. of us so it's not that small but we had a lot of good great training great great training mentorship is so important and I love that you said yes. family because that's our number one core value here at our office at the Dubuque team uh, is is family right and we mm-hmm. dissect family into three different levels the first one is the families that we serve and helping those those families to have changed generational wealth, right? And also leading them into the homes that they're going to love, right? Uh, and right. spend time with their families. The second layer of that is our families. We have personal right. families. And we think it's so important to have a great work-life balance, right? We know this industry is very demanding, but when you pair yourself up with the right team, you've got other partners there that can help you still have that work-life balance. That's 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 priceless, right? Um, right. And then the last one is our work family, right? Right? It's the people that we work with, right? Um, we work right. with Tina and David, and we've got several others that work on our team. And we've got our own little family here inside of our team. And, uh, you know, so it sounds like the core values align. You have that same experience there with your agency. Um, right. You, you're 75 strong, but you still feel like a big family, right? Right. We really do. We're able to kind of work with each other, do open houses together. If you have some new agents coming in, there's the mentorship opportunity. You can shadow someone at a listing appointment. You can shadow someone at an open house. You can shadow at a closing and inspection. There's always opportunity to learn there. So that was one of the, and then some agencies in town send their new agents to us and then say, go over there and learn and then come back. (laughs) (laughs) The cheat sheet. (laughs) The cheat sheet all the time. It's so so crazy. So Janelle, is it just you on the team or is it, is you have a team that you, I do not have a team currently. It's just me right now. And so we're thinking about, I don't know, branching out, which sometimes you're like, oh, well, I want to do that. But it's it's not feasible. It's not feasible. So yeah. I need well, to we've be seen able. your numbers. I was going to say, <laughs> with your numbers, so obviously you only, you don't, you never sleep, you never eat, and you just work <laughs> seven. That's why I asked, how the heck does this woman do everything? Yeah. I mean, how do you even have time to be on the podcast? That's what I, I have would. no idea. You know, it was a, it was a squeeze, really, because I was at a commercial lease meeting this morning. And I was like, "Oh, I have to go." <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're we glad made you it made it. We're glad, you, and you know what? Our <laughs> audience is glad you made it too, because again, this is stuff that people need to hear. You know, again, it goes back not just the realtors that are looking for the right home, but the borrowers as well, because borrowers don't always know that every agent isn't right. created equal. They also don't know that every agency isn't created equal. And when you're aligned with somebody who has the proper education training and mentorship programs, you're going to get better service. You're going to get somebody that's going to be able to provide you uh, a better opportunity and guide you through with confidence uh, to make that transaction simpler. And when you work with Janelle, you get somebody with an engineer background and a math (laughs) background. So you know that the numbers are going to be strong, but she's also got the best personality in the world. So you're going to have a lot of fun when you're out there looking for houses. Uh, We do have a good time. We do have a good time. I love it. I love it. I love my customers. We have a great time and we use all of the tools. So I'm so excited for the background that I have because of the engineering. We can have conversations with the builders and the contractors. And because of the education portion, I can go and teach when the first time home buyer courses. So I feel like I still get a little bit of teaching in there because I can teach you about the inspection process. I can teach you about, hey, these are the financing things. 
this is what to, you can expect when you're buying a home. So I still get to dip my toe a little bit in the teaching arena, but you know, it's, it's a great field to be in. Awesome. I meet a lot of amazing people and I'm so glad for the people that I do have because I've been blessed to have a lot of great, great customers. Yeah. And, and, and where do that customers come from? Are you, is it all organic? Do, do you get leads from Zillow or Realtor.com or any of that stuff? I am not a proponent of random strangers, unfortunately. <laughs> so I have. <laughs> <laughs> but the crazy part about it is I have a great referral sphere. That's like awesome. I really try and take care of my customers and my customers have been like my biggest marketing dollar ever. So I love on them and they actually get offended when somebody uses another realtor. Like, <laughs> hey, didn't I tell you to use Janelle? <laughs> See, this is what happened. It messed up because you didn't use Janelle. Like, so it's pretty funny. But <laughs> you're right. I yeah. love them because of their passion. I really do. I really appreciate them and their passion. Let's get that tip. Yeah. So, that, uh, so everybody out there, all the realtors that are wondering what to do, pro tip right there, Janelle. Just love on your customers to where they're your biggest advocate, you know? Yeah. Love on your people because when you love on your people, they'll love on you. That's right. Ex well, exponentially. And education. Janelle mm -hmm, loves to about. educate. So, it, I mean, you're, you're teaching and, and, and communicating the whole time. That's, you know, that's what people need. Right. You're great at right. that. You take the transactional feel out of the scenario and you move it to, mm -hmm. hey, I'm just looking at homes with one, one of my best friends and right. we're out here having a good time <laughs> and she cares about me the way that I care about her and man, we're mm -hmm. going to have fun while we're doing this thing and she's going to lead me to the home because I trust her, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. I love it. So I, I always it. try and make sure that my customers understand that this is about you yeah. and what's comfortable for you, what's comfortable for your budget. We want to be able to get the best possible home for the best possible price. Well, guess what, Janelle? When your customers are working with you, it's all about them. But today, it's all about you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're awesome, and that's why we wanted to have you here, right? You know, people need you to know so uh, the Janiels out there in Gainesville doing awesome things. And so, for the ones I know you don't like the strangers, you might get but, a couple of phone calls here because <laughs> they're going to feel okay. like they know you it's after okay. this podcast. As long as you're a cool stranger, I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> It's just a random stranger. She My mom like. tell me. Yeah, yeah no random mom strangers. Tells me I have never met a stranger anyway. So. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that's true. So we always like to ask some 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 cool questions on here. Okay. And, and David's David likes to throw those out there, brother. Uh, what's what's a great question for Janelle? So ten years in the business, we know you mm -hmm. have a ton of transactions. Uh, but uh -huh. what's the one transaction that means the most to you? Why you got into the business? Why you're a realtor? And why you're still here, right? You still look back at it and you say, this is why uh, I do this. Yes. Yeah. What's that one? The one that means the most. I know it's hard. Mm, that is a hard one because I've had such wonderful people yeah. hit that first time home buyer and it was like, this is it. I've had 60 year old women buy homes and it's their first one. Yeah. And those moments and when they're just like, finally, I never thought I would be able to do this. Those moments are the moments that make it for me. I, to see some of my friends walk away from the closing table with six figures and they're like, whoa, I never <laughs> thought I would be able to have this kind of money in my account at one time. Yeah. Those are the moments that kind of make it. I don't know if there's one transaction. Is there anyone can you, you can think of though that you go back to and you go, man, that was tough. It was hard to make that happen, but we did it. Um, and the payout was just super rewarding. You know, I might have to say the one that's closing as we speak wow. might be the one. <laughs> Great couple, young couple. They're super sweet. And they are, they have three kids. When I was their age, I don't even think I was thinking about being married <laughs> or having kids. And they are just adorable. And everything that could happen 
started happening. Oh, well, we need to replace the roof. Oh, we need to replace this. We kind of set them up for the roof. I kind they kind of knew right. that the roof was coming. Right. Um, the other stuff that was coming down the line, and then the bank was doing something weird, and we're like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And they're like, Janelle, thank you, because this has been crazy. And so to see them just kind of relax because of that, yeah. knowing that, hey, we're so glad we're here. that we used we made you it. as your real you <laughs> We made it. I'm so, we appreciate you. And those are the things, like, the checks are cool. Yeah. But when you appreciate it and with the checks, yeah. that's a different situation. And that's what we're going for there because we yeah. know how that works, right? <clears throat> what yeah. we found is the best agents out there, the ones that really are doing it for the right reasons, uh, they're not doing it for just the money. They do it because, you know, they're helping helping people and connecting right. people to, you know, their, their most valuable possession. Right. And right. Uh, there's something special about that. You know, the money's going to come and go and we'll have successes, but you know, if you really want to be a rock star in this industry and uh, uh, you know, be able to showcase your talents, it's because you love people. That's really what it boils down to. So, but I right. may have to tell you, I'm pretty sure it wasn't us that did the financing on that one. Was it? No, no, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you did not cause any trouble. I so, I'm not, so I glad that saying. you did not cause the trouble. You did not cause well, the trouble. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to unwind here a little bit. You know, even though you said it a little bit, everybody seems to think a realtor is going to show me houses, put in an offer, and that's it. That's not the case. Guess what? No. There's a lot of negotiations that go back and forth. That's right. You right. negotiate the, the sales of the, of, the, of the contract. Then afterwards, right. repairs or yep. stuff that comes right. up. That's all negotiations. Everybody that thinks that they can go out there and buy or sell their house on their own without realtor representation. That's right. I, I squirm. You know? Or for that matter, you get someone that's, that's not seasoned like Janelle. Um, yeah. to, to go out there and negotiate. I, you know, there's a, we're talking about thousands of dollars. Just this transaction here, just what, what you just said about the roof and other financing, I have to think it's in the thousands, you know, that you, right. that you have to negotiate. So, right. Yeah. Well, and an appraisal comes in short, right? You know, I mean, there's so right. many different hiccups that can happen throughout the transaction. And having somebody that's there that has the understanding and the expertise to guide you through that, that's such an important part of the process. And so it really is 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 true that you need to align yourself with the right agents uh and you want somebody that is a powerhouse when it comes to negotiations but you also want somebody that cares and that's janelle right uh you get the best of both worlds there you get somebody that's going to be a <laughs> lifelong friend by the time that you find that home and in addition to that that's going to have amazing negotiation skills and going to fight to get you to the closing table right you know, I like to tell people that, you know, realtors are in the business of solutions management. That's what we're doing. We're finding solutions for every single That's right. problem that arises along the way. But we want to make sure that you're making a great decision for you and your family. That's the important part. That's right. Well, you know, what's funny is, you know, as an engineer, you'd think that might be the harder job because there's a lot of uh, mathematical, precise calculations in there. But when you mm -hmm. transition that over and look at every single transaction we run, into in the real estate world, they're all different. There's a formula and a solution to get to the resolve, but it changes every single time. And right. it takes an effort <laughs> to be able to make that happen. So, you know, I don't know that everybody understands how difficult this industry can be. And it takes the right people that are willing to put in that effort uh, to get everybody to the closing table. And you align yourself with the wrong one, you may not end up with the home. Right. That, that's just how it it's works. True. So, well, Janelle, we would love to keep you here all day, but we know you've got more homes to sell and people <laughs> to save. Um, but uh, what did we not ask you today that we should have? Is there anything else that we should cover? Let's see. I'm thinking maybe, <laughs> maybe not, you know. <laughs> You guys are great. I can't think of anything right now off the top of my head. I've had such a great time with you all. Thank you so much for allowing me to be on your platform. It's, it's pleasure's been all such here. Such a joy. Yeah, such pleasures a joy. all over here. We've loved having you on here and getting a chance to tell your story. And you know, we'd love to have you back at some point in time and maybe get to uh, talk about what you're doing out there in 2024 because we know okay. this is going to be a big year in this industry. <laughs> and I can only imagine the successes that are going 
going to come with it. Um, well, we want to make sure our audience knows how to get in touch with you. So when the people <laughs> out there are looking for Janiel, let's talk about what markets you serve and how they can locate you. What's the best way to find you? The best way to find me, there are a few ways to find me, but I can just give you my phone number. I love it. It's 352-339-8492. Again, that number is 352-339-8492. I am on Facebook as Janelle Morris, Florida Realtor. I am on Instagram as Janelle Morris, Florida Realtor. I am just about anywhere you see my name, G-E-N-I-L-E, you can find me because not many people have my name so That's it works true. out really well we had to talk about how to pronounce it before we got on here so yeah just think captain and Neil and there replace it, it to you with the g <laughs> there it is janelle morris everybody uh well janelle absolutely pleasure to have you here and guys and gals if you're looking for uh somebody that's going to guide you through that process you need to call her she's absolutely amazing in gainesville that's gainesville and surrounding areas Gainesville and surrounding areas, I have even serviced Orlando. So we have been all in through from the state line pretty much to Orlando. I've sold in pretty Lake sure City. Pretty sure she's part of Disney World. So <laughs> <laughs> It is the happiest place on earth. It I love certainly it so is. It certainly <laughs> is. Well, and guys and gals, if you're looking for financing to go along with your awesome agent, uh, you want to reach out to Christina Wagner. Uh, Christina represents the Florida... Uh, state as well. And she hits all of Florida, all of Georgia. And uh, Christina's amazing at what she does as well. Uh, Christina, when the people out there want to find you, uh, how can they get in touch with Christina Wagner? Uh, they can call me at 352-659-6812. Uh, you can also see me on uh, the Dubuque team.com. That's T-H-E-D-U-C team. That's us. And that's me. Uh, I'm Devin Dubuque. Uh, so uh, we are the Dubuque team.com. And Christina may not say a lot on this podcast, but let me tell you something. If you want somebody that's going to represent your numbers, get you to the closing table on time. And I know the type of service you provide and how much work you put into it. Christina really cares too. Christina okay. really cares. So yeah. uh, we're happy to have you here on the team with us. And uh, just ecstatic to have you both today. It's been an absolute pleasure. So thank you guys for joining us. And uh, we're your real estate success partners. I'm Devin Dubuque. I'm David Wynn. And if you want to check us out, you can find us at realestatesuccesspartner.com. Again, that's realestatesuccesspartner.com. Or you can swing over to the Dubuque team. And we're going to be on the internet. We're going to be on Facebook, IG, and YouTube with all those same t- Tags. If you want to be a guest on the show, just ask. You may be one of our next guests. Uh, also, we'd love it if you'd comment, uh, and we appreciate the subscribes and five-star reviews. Until the next time, we'll see you then. Bye, guys.